Thomas Turner here at thomasturner.space and today we're going to be um, changing the link color in a HTML document. It's a very simple tutorial. If you want to be more specific on HTML and CSS, please check the tutorial at the right top. But in this tutorial, we're just going to be changing the text link color in HTML or a hyperlink. So what we're going to do is just create a new document. This is a template. You can use this method on any single website as long as you've got .html at the end or .htm. So anyway, you get the gist, it's .html documents on there. So let's say on this we want, what text would we want? We want the heading one, we want this heading one to be a hyperlink and we want to change the text of it. So what we're going to do, we're going to create, make this text a hyperlink. It's very simple, you just go to insert hyperlink. And what, um, what like link do we want this to do? We're going to do my website HTTPS Thomas Turner dot space. And right now it's going to make it into a hyperlink. As we can see here, this is a standard hyperlink as everyone knows. But as we can see here, it's taking the formatting from this DSS and it's changing it blue. So let's say we want it to be green or red or whatever color we wanted. It's very simple. We go make sure your CSS is linked. And we're going to go to the bootstrap.css. Um, this is not changing. There we go. All right. So now we've got the bootstrap.css, and we're going to change the link of every single like hyperlink within here. I'm just going to change this hyperlink. So what we do, this will work on any website. We're just going to do A, we're going to open the bracket and we're going to call it color. And we're going to choose a color with a color picker or you can go on a website and find a hex or RGB A color. And we're just going to pick a nice red, click enter and now the link's changed red, as you can tell. And let's say we wanted to change the font. This is going to we we'll just do family. Oh no, you got to make sure it's closed. So bracket close. Now we can do family font. We can do a different font. Now we can close that. We can do whatever we want. Anyway, this is a, just a quick little tutorial for beginners out there. I hope this has helped you. And please, if you want any specific tutorials, comment below, and it will help me a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.